Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mrs. Elefante's virtual classroom, where science learning is fun. Hi, everyone. Hello to my physical science students. This is Mrs. Elefante, and for today's video, I'm just going to show you a quick walkthrough where to find your portfolios and your lessons and in ingenuity. So when you open your um, class section or your course, so I don't know how it looks um, on your screen, but this is how it, look, how it looks in mine. And go to your lesson. So here I drop the types of chemical reactions part one, just because you would need um, the supplies for that. And we don't have the chemicals right now. So go open unit four, lesson six, which is the lab rate of chemical reactions. And then it will, uh, so this is your ingenuity page. And then uh, there are two things. First is you are going to open your high school lab report guide, which is um, very important because you are going to answer those questions down below. So here, question section one, experimental overview, questions one through um, 11. However, so that you don't need to open multiple documents to do the lab, I have created a completed lab sheet where I put it in the message board. I'm going to show it to you in a bit. So here, next you are going to open, of course, a lab rubric so that you will know how I grade your lab and then the warm up, the instruction. And then when you reach to the virtual lab, let's click on that. So this is your Ingenuity login page. And here are the materials you will use in this virtual lab. Scan through the list before moving on. Okay, so these are the materials that you will need, but guys, please be reminded that this is a virtual lab, so you don't need to buy the supplies. Because I'm doing this video because I keep on getting a lot of questions, the same questions from different students. So um, if you did the density lab, it would be the same process, but I'm just gonna show it anyway. So here it says, do you have a copy of the student guide? You open that one. If yes, then yes. If no, then click no. Hopefully yes. You are going to download this and it will have you, uh, it will let you open a Word document for the, uh, for the file. So let's wait. And it will be like this. So this is the Word document that you just downloaded. Okay, so you have read through everything and then like I said, you don't need to buy the supplies because it's already provided for you. It's a virtual lab. So here you are going to complete the data table. So do not skip anything from ingenuity just because you need every item here because it, it is worth a point. Okay, so if you answer the trial one, um, write the volume there, type or write. If you are going to print this, temperature, start time, end time, and elapsed time. For the start time, um, I know for the end time, you have to look at the virtual lab simulation because it will really tell you what's the correct end time. Sometimes you may stop the timer late or advanced, but the instructor will tell you what is a correct end time. So watch out for that. And to calculate for your average, you just simply add the times for your trials one, two, three, and then divided by three, that's your average, okay? So just complete that. But like I said, you open the first student guide, which has questions, and then this one. But like I mentioned again, I have, um, combined both so you will only have one document so the reason why i showed you how to open the i mean i opened the student guide just to show you that these are the documents that you would you would need to look out to if you do the next labs okay and then if you're ready with a document just click done okay be sure to follow along in the student guide for this lab and record all data in the data sheet Okay, so then you are going to proceed to the next. So here, 
Um, it says in this second step, you will be establishing base liner. Using the room temperature water for comparison, drag the corrugated cylinder to the beaker to add 250 ml of room temperature water to the beaker. So just follow the instructions. So just simply drag the graduated cylinder to the beaker and then it will just simulate it, pour the water to the beaker. And it says drag and steer the rod to the beaker to mix the water so that it has the same temperature throughout the beaker. So you just simply drag the steering rod and then drag the thermometer. So you have to record your information here. So for example, um, for the volume, as you can see here, it's 250 ml, and then you go back to your um, document. So you're right here, 250 ml. And then let's see what was the temperature. So the temperature here is a red mark. So it's 20 degrees Celsius. It's Celsius here. So you put here, well, Celsius is already written there. So you put 20. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate trial one for you. And then you have to do the rest. Okay, so let's go back. And then here, go to the next slide. And then the timer. So you have to reset the timer and then start stopwatch and one sodium carbonate tablet. Okay, no, nah. hold on. Let me go back here. So I think we did that. That's fine. And then if you have this timer, you have to reset and then start. So it's um, here, it is asking you to stop the time when the, the sodium bicarbonate tablet has completely dissolved. So I'm just going to show you how to stop this. Okay. So look closely at what happened to the sodium bicarbonate tablet. When the tablet when the tablet can no longer be seen, press stop on the stopwatch and then record the time. And then we are going to Once you don't see the bubbles anymore, then you can stop the timer. So there, so for example, you stop, just for example, I stop it really early, so my time is 40.90, but the actual time in, in real life, <laughs> it will be um, 50 seconds. So you are going to record 50 seconds. So you go back here to your document, start time was zero, right? And then end time is 50. And so the elapsed time is 50. So Follow the actual time because, like I said, you might um, stop or yeah, stop the timer earlier or later. Okay, so let's just do the same for the rest. You do tire trial two, trial three. Follow the instructions, like I said, to get the average. You add all three and then divide it by three. So do the same for everything. And then um, let me just close that one. When you go back to your lesson, of course, you need to reflect on the lab and then just go proceed to the next. Okay. Next is you go to page two. Once you completed the document, you are going to submit your lab here in the Dropbox. So just click on that and then you are allowed to submit up until five files if you have separate files and then just click finish. I should be able to see it right away. And make sure to make to mark it complete so you can proceed to the next even if I haven't um, graded the assessment yet. One thing which is also very important is the message board like I talked about. So I know I told you that you can download the study, student guide or the study guide and the lab sheet but just so you have one sheet all together I made one complete lab sheet and the message board. So what you will do, go to your message board and to your physical science A, if you're in physical science class, and then go click portfolios. And then you click on the chemical reactions lab. So as you notice, I have here the previous portfolios. So it will, um, I will be posting more portfolios here, which is already the modified one. So you gotta open that. Okay, and then download the portfolio all right and now what's the difference between this and the previous document that I showed you this one will have all the questions so isn't it that you have okay let me just show you the beginning so it will be the same first part and then you have the chart but at the end 
I had the lab report questions, which um, um, these questions are found in your st study guide, the very first document that you downloaded. But again, um, I put it all together in the message board. So it's just like that. And then when you're done, save it. Okay, your file name should be your first name and last name and then lab reaction rates. Okay, so for example, um, just going to show you anyway, save as wherever, say desktop. So this will be, say, your name, Smith, first name, Megan, for example, Smith. And then, or no, you do underscore, do not do space. Smith, and then chemical underscore reactions. Just like that, okay? Because I am receiving 177 portfolios, so I don't want to mix the documents, so make sure to have your um, file name correct. That's it. So guys, um, if you will have another portfolio in the future, do the same process and um, it, you should be able to do the portfolios correctly. And if you still have questions, let me know. I hope you don't have questions about how to access the portfolio, how to do it if it is a virtual lab, because this video should be clear for you guys. All right. So what may be if you have other questions and see you next time. Bye.